Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome out to the garage. It has been a seriously tough week, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to uh, take a small detour and go out and buy a new scotch, open it with you guys, and break into what I hope is a revival weekend. So this will be my thoughts on Tomatin Cast Strength. Now, I don't know too much about it, but if you have any tomatin at all, uh, or if you have this cast strength, why don't you pour it and come back, we'll talk about this Highland Scotch, but at cask strength. Three, four. Wow, thanks for uh, staying with me. Uh, as I said in the opener, damn tough week. So why not open a bottle? This is, uh, you know, a, a cask strength that I haven't seen much on the shelf. I've, uh, I've seen um, Tomatin is very available in my market. And, uh, you know, it's a nice Highland Scotch. And uh, most of their expressions are unpeated. And, uh, and they're uh, usually a mix of bourbon and ex-sherry. Uh, the 12 year old is incredibly affordable in my market, um, but I haven't seen their cast strength around much. But I went out looking for a little Friday revival and I found this. And it says on it, you know, it's, it's natural color, unchill filtered, 57.5% and a mix of X bourbon and X sherry. If you have experience with tomato, why don't you tell me your experience? I will say this. The 12 year old is incredibly affordable, but it is one of the few scotches that I did not, nice pop, really take to. It's uh, surprising because very affordable, you know, mix of bourbon and sherry, uh, but it's something that I, I don't know what it was, but it just didn't hold my interest. So let's see, this is not age stamp, as I did, I already shared the casking and that it's unchill filtered and natural color. So a pretty nice color for what would likely be a young scotch because they don't give an age. But, you know, that could have come from the sherry. Um, we'll see. So uh, why don't we take a look at Tomat and Cast Strength together in this just opener thoughts. I won't rate it, but I will share with you what I'm getting on the scotch. Oh, I got a like a rich apricot caramel kind of fruitiness right off the top. Yeah, strong vanillas even. It's playing a little more into an ex-bourbon cask with some good sherry influence. Wow, a little bit of cut. Uh, what would be a stone fruit? It's almost sweet enough to be peach. Not quite, but it's quite sweet. Yeah, some notes I haven't had at all. Apricot, almost peach. Very sweet pear. Not spicy on the nose. And, you know, I'm outside. I'm not. I'm in my garage, but the garage is up to give lots of light. And uh, I always struggle with catching the nose properly when there's a, just a ton of fresh air. Yeah, it, it's it, a little bit of ginger. Honey. And now it's burning my nose. I didn't get it right away. And I was going to say that, oh, it's surprising. No, there's a good amount of alcohol on this. And it is 57 and a half. Let's give it a try on the palate. Hope you got something to pour along. Hope you have a bit of a break on this weekend. Slancha. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that was a really good first sip. It's playing now into a spicier palette. A little bit of dry wood, a little bit of um, older cinnamon, that ginger now for sure. Um, what's that sweet paste, that marzipan? Um, so it's got some high sugars, but the fruit that was in the nose, it's kind of backed off. Better give it another sip.
Yep. Knowles gave me a lot of very sweet stone fruit, light pear. The palate has pulled me more into a little bit of oaky, caramel, spicy nature. And it's quite perky on the tongue. You know, it's 57.5%. It's a little rough, a little, um, you know, I, I've often said like rough wood. I don't know how to explain that, but just a little more aggressive in the palate. Why don't we try it with water? Um, certainly, this is just first thoughts. I, I can't read it, but not disappointed. And I got this at uh, what is kind of a newer uh, liquor outlet in uh, Edmonton. It's kind of northwest on 170th Street, ABC Liquor. And what was very interesting is he indicated he ships all across Canada. And he'll ship, you know, one or up to six bottles. It's the same price anywhere, not anywhere in Canada, but anywhere major in Canada, like to Ontario, any of the major uh, provinces. Uh, for $40 um, Canadian, he'll ship six bottles and his pricing is very good. Brighter nose, actually a little more alcoholic, but by that it's just more uh, like it's, I think it's speaking more. A tiny bit of sourness, a little sour cherry. Now with water on the palate. As expected, easier to move around the palate. Um, without water and with water, it's only gently coating. This is not a very thick viscous, even though it's unfiltered. It's a nut, like there's presence, but it's not chewy. Getting a little bit of, a little bit of leather, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of espresso. So the Rough wood notes without water is being expressed into a variety of, of I think that flavor profile. I like it. It's certainly uh, the layers are coming like uh, being a little more distinct with water. Of course, it's not coarse. A little less pungent, a little less punchy, and the spicing instead of really being able to get uh, like what was I getting some ginger. Uh, marzipan, cinnamon, uh, that kind of like, kind of, uh, it's really more a little bit of a peppering in the spicy department right now. Well, as I said, it was a pretty tough week. And, uh, you know, I, I probably don't say it enough to you guys, but I actually really appreciate the community, the whiskey community uh, here and on any of the social media platforms. Uh, a place to, to, you know, share some opinions, share some ideas. Uh, uh, but it has been a, a friendship place for me as well. And um, it's why I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out and get a, get a scotch, treat myself to something nice, and, uh, and then maybe open it and share some thoughts with you. And I hope that wherever you are, that a short moment here, like this kind of video, can also be a little bit of a recharge, a bit of encouragement. And, and I do hope you have a fantastic weekend and uh, that you have uh, you know, good people in your life that can pick you up uh, even when you kind of take a beating. Thanks for joining me. Take care.